So in the last video we had a kendo grid and we bounced some data to it. We hard coded the data, which isn't very realistic. So in this video I'm going to show you where to, how to get um, data from an external source and bind it to your grid. It's pretty straightforward. Our external source is going to be this resource here. Um, it comes from the kendo demo site and is just a bunch of JSON data about some products. So we're going to use this URL here. So that's our external source. Let's go back to our code. Rather than having a data source and hard coding it, we're going to change this around and add transport and add, uh, what are we going to do? We're just going to read the data. So let's just put in read. Oops, and let's put our brackets the right way. And what are we reading? We're reading a URL. And the data type of this URL is a little bit tricky. It's JSON, right? But it's JSON P. And we have to say P because it comes from an, um, another domain. And that's just the rule. And then the next tricky part is lining up our brackets because there's so many of these things. OK, now we have some columns. Um, the field. Let's look at the resource once again. We have a product ID and we have a product name. It's important, they're case sensitive, you gotta get that right. So let's make sure we get it right. Product ID, oops, see, I got it wrong. Product ID, there we go. And we'll just say uh, product ID to be original. And product name. So the name, the title of that uh, column is going to be name, and we can take out that last one. And so if this actually works, what's going to happen? Um, we change the data source to point to this resource, set as a data type of JSONP. We know the field names. So we matched up the properties in here to here, and we spelled them right and made them all case sensitive. Didn't, we didn't make them case sensitive. We made sure the cases matched because they are case sensitive. I'll save it, and I will reload this, and hopefully it works. Success! Look, it's really nice. First of all, the data is there, but look, it's actually looks kind of nice and scrolls and is smooth and the cool thing is we didn't really write that much code so there you go what do we do in this video we uh, basically bound our grid to some external data cool